To complete your assignment this week for advanced guitar, you're going to need to make your own backing track for an F, for a uh, for an F Lydian improvisation, and you're going to need to add bass and drums to it. So here's the uh, sort of the inspiration of all of this. As you know, we've been working out of this book, The Advancing Guitarist by Mick Goodrick, and you can look up this vamp. It'll play for you. It's only one chord. That goes on for a while, but F major 7 sharp 11 is basically, well, let's get into it. Here's a guitar track. I'll just add that. It's going to be F, A, uh, the sharp 11 is B, E is the major 7, and F. So you can take your regular F chord that you know and love, F, A, C, and then just play the open B string instead of the first fret on the B string. And then of course the major seven of that is E, that's the open E string. And if you reach around with your thumb and grab the low F, you've got the full chord there. And you can play that rhythm if you want to, or you can make up your own rhythm. Um, you can also decide on your tempo, and you can add bass and drums at will. I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's just say I want to go kind of slow here. I'm going to back this down. Maybe we'll go at uh, 80 beats per minute. And I'm going to start with my metronome on, and I'm going to record a strum of this, uh, this chord. So there, I've got a little, little chord thing going on there. I can loop that out as many times as I want. Let's go, go for a while. We want to improvise for a while here. So I'll make it loop out, let's say, 32 bars. OK, then I'm going to go and add some bass. A couple of ways to do this. The easiest way is to go to Add Track go to Instruments, <clears throat> and if you have a MIDI keyboard at home, you can just play the keyboard, or you can use your typing keyboard on your Chromebook. We're going to be in F, so I'm going to need to play this note. Uh, I can do that with the letter V on my Chromebook keyboard. Maybe I don't want it to be a piano, though. Maybe I'm looking for bass. So that's better. Let's go and do that. <clears throat> I'm just playing the letter V. And I can just loop that out, of course, till my heart's content. And then I can do drums. Now, I could go add track. I could add a drum machine. That would look like this. Uh, I'd have to clean that up. The drums are a little loud in there. And I could play with that a little bit, maybe change the kick drum around a little. Um, or, let me delete that track, I could add a, an instrument track and just choose drums. Now, I can play these drums, again with the keys on my Chromebook keyboard. Let's see how that works. So it's a little, I'm getting a little latency, so I'm definitely not in time, but that's okay. I can fix that. I can go into the MIDI editor, and I can see that some of these snare hits are a little late. So what I'll do is I'll select all. I'm going to quantize this. That means I'm going to basically round uh, the value that I played to the nearest grid line. Now, it's quantizing to 16th notes. I think I'm going to go more toward the 8th note, and we'll see how that goes. So I'll click quantize. And everything seems to move. So yeah, that's fine.
fine, we'll take that. And I could loop that out too. And then I could have a track, I have a backing track now that I can play along with. Now, I can also add to that drum loop if I wanted to. So let's say I wanted to add some hi-hat to it. Um, I don't have to play all of those instruments at once. I can just go back and overdub some hi-hat. So let's do that. I'm just going to record on top of my drum part. Letter O key does this for me. And again, I can get in there and quantize it. Oop, looks like I'm going to have to loop it again. There. Now I'm going to have to go and quantize that. Select all. Looks okay. Uh, a couple of these little hits didn't come out exactly the way I wanted them, but I can move those. It's no big deal. So. Oh, and if I want a little open hi-hat, I can move that, so I like that. Maybe I'll move that up too, this one right here. Select this guy, and maybe up we go, so anywhere I wanted an open hi-hat. So that's another option. So once I've got that, I can loop it out. And then, of course, the next step would be to add my guitar track and improvise along with it. So now, once again, you are playing the notes in the key of C, but you're centering around F. So you're going to have lines kind of like this. Let me turn on this little practice loop here, and I'll play a little bit. That's where F is going to be your home base. So you want to come up with some lines that... Uh, fall around F. Now, there's another way you can add some drums with this, too. You can go to these uh, loops that are already done, and you can search, right, in this little search window, window here, you can search for uh, drum loops. And boom, all these drum loops come out. So, uh, you'll have to find one that you like. Maybe this one. Sure, we'll just grab that in, put that there. I'm going to mute this drum loop, and now let's see what our uh, backing track sounds like now. I mean, that took far less effort, uh, and I got the same result. So um, this is how you're going to build your backing track, and then we'll talk more about uh, creating good lines and creating good phrases and emphasizing the important notes in the F Lydian scale. But this should basically get you started in making your backing track. So, good luck.